It's Sonny's Piano TV Show. Today's show is devoted to Sonny's own exclusive piano yoga method. Techniques for relaxation and stress reduction that can contribute to better piano playing and increase your overall good health and well-being. Featuring Sonny's Black Note Flow Exercise. His interview with Channel 10 News. Sonny's exclusive piano yoga lesson. The best of Sonny's piano video tours prior to 2010. And much, much more. And now, here's Sonny. You like that? I call that the black note flow exercise and that's what we're going to be doing in just a moment. So make yourself comfortable. Take a deep breath. Inhale through your mouth like this. Exhale. Good. Do it again. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. The idea in this lesson is we're just going to relax. We're not going to put any stress or strain or pressure on ourselves. We're just going to play the black notes and the black notes only. And if you play just the black notes, you cannot make a mistake. Everything will harmonize. Everything will sound beautiful. All right? So let's get started. If you have a piano, I'd like you to press the right pedal on your piano so that when you play a note, you get this effect. Hit the note. It's sustaining. Okay? Now, if you don't press the pedal, you hit a note. It stops. And for our purposes in this lesson, I'd like you to have that sustain effect. So. Press the pedal down throughout the entire exercise. Okay. Now, if you're working on the keyboard and you don't have a pedal, then press the strings button, and you will once again will get that sustain effect. Okay. All right. Take a deep breath now. Exhale, and let's start playing the piano instantly. Index finger on your right hand. Press that pedal. Play any black note in the middle of the keyboard. And let's. Go up. Up is this way in the piano, down is this way. So let's just travel up, play any black note. It doesn't have to be the same one as I'm playing. Just random. Up, and now let's come back down. Skip, hop, skip a few black notes, skip a few black notes. Good, hold that pedal down. Okay, let's do it again. Going up, black note, black note, black note, black note. Hear that? Come on back down. Skip a few. Listen to that. That sound ring. Beautiful. Okay, let's do the same thing with the left hand. Take the index finger in your left hand and hit any black note in the middle of the piano. And travel down this time. Now travel back up. Just play any black note. Move around. Up. Back down. Just skip around. Listen to that. Good. All right, now let's take two fingers, the thumb and the index finger on the right hand. And again, take a deep breath. Exhale. Relax into this. What we're looking to do is get into the flow. No thinking. Just relax, okay? So using these two fingers, stretch them out a little bit, drop them down, and play any two black notes in the middle of your keyboard. Move up a little bit. Listen to that. Move up a little more, a little more, very nice, listen to that. And by the way, congratulations, you've just played your first chord, 
because a chord is any combination of notes. So here we have two notes, so we have a two note chord. But in reality, you can play a three note chord, a four note chord, you can play a five note chord, you can play a ten note chord, okay? So we'll get into that a little bit later. But for now, let's use these two fingers again. On the right hand, moving up the keyboard, just flow. Don't think, just play the notes, play the piano. Okay, same thing with the left hand. Thumb, index finger, any two black notes in the middle of the keyboard. Move down, listen to that, listen to that, listen to that. Now move back up, 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 up. Good, play the same two black notes. Keep playing them. Move down, play it three times. Good, move down again, just using the two fingers. Okay, now let's use two fingers on the right hand, two on the left, and just drop them anywhere. Listen to that. Now you got a four note chord. Very good. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Play again. Same place. Okay, now using both hands, let's move up a little bit. Good. Tap a little more. Good. Now let's move back down. Three times. Okay, now let's use three fingers. The thumb, the index finger, the middle finger. On the right hand, and just stretch them out and just play any three black notes. Just like that. Very nice. Move up the keyboard. Good. Good. Let's use the thumb, the index finger, and the ring finger. Stretch them out a little bit. Use any three fingers on the right hand. Just move around. Same thing with the left hand. Any three fingers. playing along with me, okay? This works best if you play along with me, okay? Okay, let's try that. It's called a roll. Play. Roll the fingers up. Roll back down. Up and down. Okay, here's another thing you can do. Got that? Left hand. Into it. Come on, play along with me. Come on, play along. All right, let's try this. Let's play a chord with the left hand, play three notes, hold that down, then we hold the pedal, and just play single notes with the right hand. Play the chord again, left hand. Move up. Nice. Change the position. Keep going. Play one with me. Again, you don't have to be doing exactly what I'm doing. Just similar. Just do something similar. Ah, listen to that. Okay. Here's another thing you do while you're playing the black note flow exercise. I call the splashes. Both hands. We'll hold the pedal. So you can be doing something like this. You could be playing one note with the right hand. Two notes with the left. Throw a couple of these in there. Throw some splashes. You can kind of hop up the keyboard. You can play softly. Gently. Okay, so what I'd like you to do to play along with me, but make up your own stuff now, okay? Put any of these into combination and see what comes out. And play along with me, okay? Take a deep breath. Exhale. You remember, we're just flowing around, just relaxing, flowing around. Okay, play along with me. Anything on the black notes will work. Come on, play with me. You're playing the piano. Playing the piano instantly. Now, whenever you sit down to play the piano, use this as a warm-up. 
Do a few minutes of the black note flow exercise. The idea is that if you get into the flow here, then when you play your other music, the flow will carry over. All right, that's what we're looking. Relax, breathe. There are no mistakes. Okay. Listen to that. Beautiful. Play with me. this too. Sometimes you'll find little themes coming out. Okay. Deep breath. Exhale. Relax. You sit down at the piano, do a few minutes of the black note flow exercise. Here's Sonny's interview with the Channel 10 News team about his one of a kind piano yoga method. Lots of us relaxing uh, to various kinds of music. And some of us do a little yoga. That's right, but you know, a Long Island man has found a way to do both at once. Sonny Stancrone knows how to make a Steinway sing, but the passionate piano man says he's practicing something else. Yoga. Though he's not twisted into tricky positions, Stancrone claims he's created a form of the ancient exercise that tickles the ivories. Piano yoga is a way of connecting with the musician within through breathing, stretching, relaxation techniques that I've developed. Sonny says piano yoga combines the best of both worlds, the relaxation of yoga and the beauty of music, all without worrying about reading notes or making mistakes. And it's healing and it's healthy and it's therapeutic. And it reduces tension and stress. So play that piano. But can a stressed out reporter on deadline find keyboard karma? Deep breath, relax, you're gonna get into the flow, into the zone. Thank you. Just walk down, play any black note. Be in the moment. Be in the moment, exactly. That's the whole secret to this. Okay. Yeah, that's it. While I may not be ready for Carnegie Hall, it is kind of fun. Sonny promotes his teachings through his website and a show on local cable. He also sells instructional CDs. And I have people ordering my lessons online uh, from, you know, uh, Sweden, from Japan, from China. So though he may not create the next Van Cliburn, Sonny believes his lessons help people find inner peace. I sound like Yanni. Yeah. <laughs> In Patchogue, Suzanne Goldklang, TV 10 and 55 News. She was very good, you know. Oh, I thought she was great. And also, I just want to mention that Sonny also sells pianos through oh. his website. Oh, by the way, exactly. <laughs> yes, all right. And now, a special presentation. Your introduction to Sonny's Piano Yoga. Hi, this is what I call Sonny's Piano Yoga. I'm going to show you a series of breathing, stretching, and relaxation exercises that you can do right before you play the piano that will enhance your piano playing abilities. All right, so let's get right to it. Take a deep breath through an open mouth like this. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. You know, because the more relaxed you are, the easier it is to do anything and everything, but in particular, when you play the piano, if you relax, you get into the flow, and then you'll enjoy yourself much, much more. All right, so let's start with this. Shoulder rolls. Roll your shoulders backwards. Big shoulder rolls like this. Very nice. Breathe through your mouth. Inhale and exhale. Come on, do these with me. Now roll your shoulders forward. That's it. Just relax. Roll your shoulders. That's it. Inhale 
exhale. Okay, bring up this shoulder, bring it down, bring up this one, and down, bring this one up, and down, this one up, and down. Now let's bring both up, and down, and up again, and down. Just relax, okay? Now stretch back, shoulders back, shoulders forward, shoulders back, and forward, shoulders back, and forward. Particularly when we're playing the piano, we want to loosen up shoulder muscles, okay, and the neck muscles. We don't want to be sitting too tight because that'll restrict our flow, all right, and our speed and our velocity. Okay, so take a deep breath and exhale. <sighs> Good, okay, let's try this. Grasp your elbow, stretch over to the side. Don't do too hard. Good, and over here, not too hard, easy. Stretch, breathe, relax. Easy does it. Good. There you go. Mm, good, good, good. And over here. You know, legend has it that Chopin used to admonish his students, suppleness, suppleness, he would say, before all else, suppleness. And so true it is, because the more relaxed you are, the easier it is to play the piano. Okay, good. Take a deep breath again. Exhale. Good. Nice and loose. Loosen up in here. Again, deep breath. Exhale. Relax. Okay. Let's try this. Grasp the top of your knee. Just bring it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little stretch here. We're in here for the lower back and the hip. Good. Very nice. All right. Let's do the other one. Bring the knee up like that. Stretch towards you and away. Easy, easy. No strain, no force. Just loosen up. Relax. See, the idea here is that if you get into the flow with the exercises, then when you play the piano, you'll be in the flow already. So it'll be a lot easier to just relax and play the piano. All right? Take a deep breath now. Exhale. And again, deep breath. And exhale. Okay, let's do something for the neck now. Just let your head fall to the side. Easy, easy. Don't bounce. Don't force it. Good. To the other side, just a little stretch. That's it. And now to the other side. Easy, easy. Just relax. The other side. Good, good. Very nice. The other side. Good, good. And the other side. That's all. Good. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Okay, now let's just relax the muscles right here, the base of your skull. Just place your hand here. Just make a circular motion. And loosen up the muscles. Get nice and relaxed. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Right over here. That's it. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. Just loosen up. Good. All right, now let's do both. Good. Loosen up. Very nice. Good, good, good. The sides of your neck a little bit. Good. Very nice. Okay. Circle. Good. Okay, now interlock your hands here. Okay, now take a deep breath. Exhale. Okay, stretch your elbows out. Easy, easy. Not too hard. And then relax. Then out and relax and again out good and let's stretch to the side a little bit nice and easy loosen up good easy easy relax into it to this side come on join in do this with me come on good good very nice side to side very good very good very good okay nice very nice good Okay, just shake this hand out a little bit, shake this hand out a little bit, shake both out. Good, loosen up. Good. Again, deep breath. Exhale. Good. Let's do one more for the face now. Rub the palms of your hands together, hard and fast, a little harder, a little faster. Create some warmth, create some heat in your palms. Good. And now place the warm part of your palms gently over your eyes, palming your eyes. Just relax. Let the heat. From your hands, soak into the muscles around your eyes, relaxing your forehead and your eyes. Again, take a deep breath now. Exhale, rub the palms again, hard, faster. Okay, over the eyes and just relax, relax, relax. Good, very nice, very nice, good. Now, deep breath, exhale. All right, let me show you a few more things regarding tension and relaxation when it comes to piano playing. All right, so when you're sitting at your piano, it's important that you be very comfortable, all right, relaxed, all right? You don't want to be sitting too far away, all right, because that creates tension, and you don't want to be cramped up in here because that creates tension, all right? Got that? All right, you want to be sitting comfortable, 
just at the right distance for you. Now another thing is, you don't want your wrist down here. All right, this is no good. You don't want to be up here. You want everything nice and straight like this. Okay, got that? All right, elbow straight, wrist straight. All right, parallel to the keyboard. Good. All right, now another thing, don't want to sit up too straight. Don't want to be over here. You want to be somewhere in the middle, nice and relaxed, all right? You have to be comfortable. Legs are out. Stretch that in front of you, all right? Okay? Every once in a while while you're playing, take a slow, deep breath like this. Inhale, exhale. In fact, when you inhale, make sure you're breathing from the belly or the diaphragm, as we call it. Because most people are high chest breathers. When they inhale, they do this. Okay, they inhale, they suck the stomach in, they draw the shoulders up. That's not what we're after. What we're after is this. When you inhale, you want to expand the stomach and then the chest. Exhale, contract the stomach and the chest. Got that? So watch again. Inhale, exhale. Okay, see the difference in the amount of air that you get in? When you chest breathe, you do this. When you belly breathe, you get this, watch. That'll help you to be more relaxed, you'll have more oxygen, be able to concentrate better, you'll have more velocity, more flexibility, more eye-hand coordination. So again, every once in a while, before you play, while you're playing, just take a slow, deep breath, inhale, exhale, and you'll find that you'll be in the flow a lot easier, and you'll play a lot easier, you'll have a lot more fun, it'll be more enjoyable, okay? All right, so. Deep breath, exhale, and again, do these exercises before you play. Here's a compilation of the best of Sonny's Piano Video Tours prior to 2010.
Thank you.